What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a MOSFET on your ANET A8 3D printer. The purpose of this upgrade is to redirect the current that flows through the mainboard to the MOSFET. The reason we do this is because many people have had their mainboards burn out. So you're going to need a few things. Obviously your 3D printer, your MOSFET, there's a link in the description to where I bought mine, some wire, I highly recommend getting thicker wire than the wire that came with the kit. The thin wire can't handle the high currents that flow through it. A 2 pin JST plug. This is for the MOSFET to receive the signal when to heat the bed. You can get one at your local electronics store. A pair of side cutters. The ones that came with the printer will be perfect. There's also a few optional things. Some lugs. These are just to ensure a solid connection with the MOSFET. A drill. This is just to attach the MOSFET to the printer. And these mounts that are printed for the MOSFET. There's a link in the description to the files. Okay, let's install the MOSFET. I've put some masking tape on the printer to mark where I need to drill. You can now take the masking tape off. You should now have clean drilled holes on which we can mount the MOSFET. The screw holes in the MOSFET aren't big enough to accommodate the M3x30 screws that came in the kit, so I'm just making them a bit bigger. Now we can mount the MOSFET onto the printer. Here's a diagram of how the MOSFET should be connected. It's also on the wiki. I'll add a link in the description. Firstly, we need to move the main power to the MOSFET. So we need to move the wires from these terminals to these terminals. Please make sure your polarity is correct. I've now connected the lugs so I can attach the wires to the MOSFET. I'm removing the heating because it gets in the way when connecting the wires. I will put it back when I'm done. Now that those are connected, you need to run two more wires from the same two terminals on the MOSFET to the same two terminals on the mainboard. Again, please make sure your polarity is correct. Next, we have to connect the two pin JST plug to these two terminals. In my experience, the polarity makes no difference here, but do your own research. Now 
Next we have to connect the wires from the heated bed to these two terminals. As you can see I've connected the wires directly to the heated bed. This is because the plastic clip burns if it's not connected directly. I've set the bed to heat up. We can see that it is working as the blue light on the MOSFET and the red lights under the heated bed are on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.